Channel League action. This series started in 1971, 52nd all-time meeting. Opening possession, Dons convert a fourth and four. Abel Renteria to Kai Malt. Nice grab by Malt. Coa Herrera, two-yard touchdown, plus he runs in the two-point conversion, 8-0 SB. Next, Dons drive, Renteria, beautiful pass down the sideline to Winston Bartley for a huge gain. Coa Herrera back in the end zone, six-yard touchdown run. They convert the two-point conversion again. It's 16-0. Still in the first quarter, Don's giving sophomore Monty Lopez a carry, and what a run he turns in. He might be the next big star for the Don's. This big game set up a Renteria touchdown and two-point conversion, 24-0 Don's after one quarter. First play, second quarter, Don's strike again. Renteria, 48-yard bomb to Bartley. Touchdown, Don's. DP just could not get any offense going against the Santa Barbara defense. Ivan Hernandez, the sack. And then late in the first half, DP punting and Mr. Big Play, Kai Malt, finds some room and you're just not gonna bring him down in the open field and you certainly are not gonna catch him. About a 60 yard punt return for a touchdown. Don's led 45 nothing at halftime. They win big 52 nothing. Second week in a row, they've won 52 nothing. Don 7-2, they lead the all-time series with Dos Pueblos 28-23-1. They host Buena next week, and then playoffs. Well, much more from the Channel League in a bit, but now to the Mountain League. St. Joseph at Lompoc, senior reporter Dave Alley has our coverage. Mike, good matchup between these two programs. Now, last year, St. Joseph beat Lompoc, ending one of the more remarkable streaks in local sports. Prior to that win, the Knights had never beaten the Braves before in football. Now St. Joe's is looking to make it two in a row over the Braves and start their own streak. Lompoc 14-1 all-time versus St. Joseph, but the Knights wasted little time taking control. Just three plays into the game, they get the ball into the hands of Carter Vargas. Always a good idea. He comes flying out of the backfield, and he is gone. Clear sailing 55 yards all the way into the end zone. Just over one minute after the opening kickoff, 6-0 St. Joseph. Ensuing possession for Lompoc. Knights defense coming up big. Matthew out Al in the right spot with the interception, giving the offense great field position. And just a few plays later, it's Vargas again getting the call, hurtling his way across the goal line for the short touchdown run, 13-0 Knights after that score. Very next St. Joseph possession, still in the first. Again, it's Vargas and the senior putting on a show, breaking tackles, shaking and baking along the sideline, refusing to go down until he's back into the end zone. Vargas with three touchdowns in the first quarter. St. Joseph up 18-0. Braves try to get their offense going. Tony Arango hitting Monte Ortiz for the nice game, but the Lompoc drive with stall. Move to the second. Braves back on offense for the snap. Fumble, and it's Jamar Jeffries dropping on the loose ball with the fumble recovery. Knights defense once again setting up the offense in good field position. And just a few plays later, St. Joseph capitalizes off the turnover. It's Nicholas Matawatia hitting a wide open Caleb Morosky. 22-yard touchdown. Knights go on to win it. Second in a row over the Braves. St. Joseph shuts out Lompoc 36-0. With the win, St. Joseph improves to 5-1 in the Mountain League, 7-2 overall. They'll wrap up the regular season next Friday at home with Mission Prep. As for Lompoc, they dropped to 3-3 in the Mountain League, 5-4 overall, and their regular season finale will be on the road at San Inez next Friday night. In Lompoc, I'm Friday Football Focus reporter Dave Alley. Back to you, Mike. All right, Dave, I've switched out of mics. We should be good from here on out. The current king of the Mountain League, Arroyo Grande in San Ynez tonight. The rooster was there to see if the AG Eagles would continue to soar. Hey, Mike, there's just two more weeks of the regular season and recent Mountain League champs Arroyo Grande coming in tonight, needing to finish the season out strong. That'll begin here with San Ynez. Now, when you look back on the history between these two, we're going to need Indiana Jones to help us dig it up because it's a little hard to find. But prior to last year's matchup, this is just the second time the Pirates and Eagles have met in over 25 years. Arroyo Grande won this contest big last year, 62 to 21. Would San Inez be able to respond? Well, opening drive, they get an interception and that sets up this touchdown right here. Sam Wolf pitching it to Junior Hurley, his 12th of the year and it's six nothing Eagles. They would miss the PAT. Pirates answering right back. Diego Polito's 26 yarder is up and good. It's now six three. Pirates keeping it close. 
AG answering right back. Wolf gonna drop back here, and this flight is clear for takeoff, and no time for the snack and beverage service. This one's coming down quick. 40-yard strike, Caleb Clark taking it in. They would go for two, they'd get it. Arroyo Grande up 14 to three, and then 44 seconds to go in the first quarter. It's Wolf, a little swing pass out to Clark, and man, just like the breadsticks at Olive Garden, the touchdowns were never ending tonight. AG up 21 to three, and we have some more highlights for you in just a moment. Pirates finally able to respond here. Third and eight, Jude Pritchard. Screen pass out to Dallas DeForest. America runs on Duncan, the Pirates run on DeForest. Dallas taking it in from 36 yards out. It's 21 to 10. Pirates trying to hang in there. Later in the second quarter, about two minutes later, AG answering right back. Ben Walls falling right into the end zone, making it look easy. Eagles up now 28 to 10. And then right before the half, Pritchard rolling out. He's gonna go deep into the end zone and find Vince Casey with a great catch. Pirates would trail 35-17 at the half. Arroyo Grande though, just too much for Santa Inez tonight as they go on to roll big. 56-24, they improved to eight and one on the year. Santa Inez dropping to three and six overall. AG will host Paso Robles next week. Santa Inez will host Lompoc in Santa Inez tonight for Friday Football Focus. I'm Kevin Roos. Mike, back to you. All right, Kevin, more Mountain League action later, but now to the Main Street Classic in Santa Maria, the Saints against Pioneer Valley. Santa Maria has won just twice in 16 games against PV, but one of those victories was last year. Big gain by Santa Maria's Aldo Areza. Saints scored the first three touchdowns as this game led 21-0, so PV needs a big play, and they're going to get it here. Luis Magana, the interception. He has plenty of open turf ahead. Pick six. Panthers get on the scoreboard, but trailed 21-7 at the half. Second half, PV facing a fourth down. They're going for a touchdown pass, but the Saints, Frankie Alcala says, not on my watch. He breaks up the pass with an outstanding play to end PV's threat. And oh yeah, number eight feeling great. Santa Maria adding on to their lead with this field goal to go up 24-7. Saints bringing the heat on defense in this rivalry game. Michael Herrera Chavez, the sack, the force fumble. Saints pounce on it and you know, those Saints come marching in when they're in the red zone. Michael Herrera everywhere, including the end zone. They get the two-point conversion. All Saints in this one, 32-7. They celebrate back-to-back -back Main Street Classic victories. Santa Maria goes 5-5 five and five in the regular season. They'll be playoff bound. PV out at Tascadero next Friday. Don't change that channel because we're headed back to the Channel League. Pacifica, Rio Mesa, Oxnard, and San Marcos all on the menu.